that's all right. Do you remember the year you started working around Key Pond? Yeah, it was about the beginning of what, 74. Okay. And how long did you work there before it was closed down? All the way. I left it. It was about 4th of July, 75, when they uh, shut the plant down. Except for I left about two days before they got popped. Oh. By then I went from there to the hospital. And I was in the hospital uh, on and off for over two years. How old were you when you worked at Life Sciences? And I started when I was 18. And then when they shut the plant down in 19, uh, you know, that ended then. Mm. Oh gosh, we used to come out there looking at, like we'd been in a powdered donut fight and I was a loser. <laughs> like you had talcum powder all over you. That was, uh, that was keep on. The ingredients actually ate holes in stainless steel. Yeah, so we'd have to take that piece of pipe out and uh, put another one in, and they never wanted to stop production. They wanted, you know, um, I mean, Christmas and everything. It was, uh, it's been work, work. And I pulled some shifts over there that took like 24 hours because I'd have to come into the break room and lay down, uh, you know, and get a little bit of rest. But everything in there was covered like, uh, a powdered donut. Really? Yeah. Did you know then that, wow, this is not right? No, I didn't until uh, I started getting these rashes around my neck and I said, get you there and there. There's still scars there, like if you'd have jock itch. I mean, uh, happened. what were some other symptoms you had? I don't know, memory uh, wasn't all that great. And it still isn't. <laughs> I got to where I couldn't breathe one day. It was real hard to catch a breath. So they sent me to the, uh, the company doctor, which was in Hopewell. Mm -hmm. And he ended up giving me some cough syrup. <laughs> oh, my hand's shaking so bad. In fact, they're almost up to doing it again, but. Sometimes the only way I can stop it is push that thing against that finger and stop it or else it, it just keeps going. I, I can't tell it to stop in my brain. So you still have the shakes to this point? Well, you just saw some of it. I mean, every day is not the same as the next day. I mean, they, they thought it was just carpal tunnel. Turned out uh, it wasn't just that. What was it? Well, <clears throat> it started out to be like a uh, crest. That's, well, that's a part of, uh, oh gee. Well, anyway. Uh, like a skin disorder? Some sort well, uh, well, scleroderma, it means hard skin in uh, Latin. Mine's mostly working on the inside. Now my sister has it also, and she's not doing very well at all. And my brother's hand that swollen up. Do you think that could be related to them being near you when you worked around the key phone? Well, the only, the only thing we did was to share the same washing machine. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing, only way that I know that uh, they could have got any of it in the system. And when did their symptoms start? Oh, uh, in the 80s. Because I, I couldn't, if my hands and my feet were cold, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do it. Is it like neuropathy? Mm. Autoimmune disease. Okay. And, and, and in other words, my fight, my body fights itself. And that could be from the key phone? Well, they said it could have been one of the triggers that started it, and myself anyway. But I mean, then my sister has it, my brother has crest. You know, three people have the same family, you know. That's, uh, I guess that's what they would call a uh, cluster. Mm -hmm. What was it like when you first started having these symptoms? Were you? I don't know, got mad real easy. Hmm. I mean, you know. 
Not to lash out on anybody, but I guess you'd call it depression. <laughs> yeah, well, shucks. I mean, by now, I'd be uh, some kind of a welding manager or something like that, you know, if I didn't have to put up with all the crap that come with it. I mean, if, it, if it's, I'd never worked there, none of this stuff would be happening. Well, except for where I broke my back. So what are some of the conditions you still have today that you think are linked? Oh, gee, I don't know. Probably uh, having a mind like I'm 18 and a body that feels like I'm 90. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah. it was definitely an experience. That's we talked to the doctors, you know, of course they said, you know, we don't know. And probably get some cancer or something in the future. So imagine that hanging over your head. I mean, you know, and uh, if things weren't bad enough already. <laughs> and then 500 to 700 years from now, they'll be able to dredge uh, the Appomattox and James River. But they can't do it yet. So after life science was closed down, you were able to, able to get a job right away? Or did it take No, it, it, it was a while. I worked my best before I went to life science product. By the way, that, that's one heck of a name, isn't it? There wasn't any problem until I got to the point where I couldn't feel my hands and my feet anymore. Then that was a problem. The welders have to work outside, inside, you know, do your job and shut up kind of stuff. <laughs> Could you get a job elsewhere after life science closed down? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. It was the uh, uh, Department of Highways, and just past Swift Creek in Clinton Heights, and hang a right, and you go down to the uh, well, that, that home base, you know, for like VDOT over there. Worked for VDOT? No. Yeah. See, your job after you left life science, after life science was closed down, you were able to, able to get a job right away? Or did it take. No, a it, 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 it was a while. I had to get my brother driving because since that foot went out, I can't drive anymore. Mm. Unless I put the gas pedal on the left hand side, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it got to be so hard to move my fingers or anything when it got cold. My legs were the same way, my toes will do the same thing now. It's going to bear up. It'll be just white as white can get. And it means there's not any uh, blood getting there. They call that rhinoid phenomena. So have you seen a doc? When was the last time you saw a doctor for your ketone side effects? Well, about uh, in two months ago, I went to see my neurologist. And what did the neurologist say? Oh, he uh, he said, you have more neuropathies than anybody I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Well, I've got a, a fistful of disc in there, you know, because every time they do something to me, I always you know, give me a disc. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the way that went. That's depressing, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, it is. So how do you keep going? What's your motto to get through these painful days? The 60. How old did you say? You're 63. That's still young. Yeah, I know. But I, I told you that my body feels like it's about 90. <laughs> anyway, I get by. And went to my Facebook page, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Hmm. Anyway, uh, you can see all kinds of crazy stuff I was doing. I was working at the dam up here. Well, I wasn't really working. It's three miles that way to the uh, Ches Brassfield Dam is what they call it. I always call it the Chesden Dam. Then there's three miles that way to where they, uh, or down the river, I should say. Off, off of Grove Avenue is where they tore that uh, dam down, which had been there for 
I don't know, 100 years or something. So isn't it interesting that you live on a river that could have fish with a chemical that really derails your life for a while? Uh, you'd have to eat a whole lot of them. Yeah. But still, my liver holds on to uh, what it has because it's not water soluble for the next 500 through 700 years. I don't think I'll be around when that happens. <laughs> so your liver still shows signs of peat foam? Yeah, the last, the last biopsy I had, yeah, there was 4.3 uh, million, and there shouldn't be any in the bee. When was that? A while ago? When you well, you know, it's, it's been a while back now. But everybody else, it, it's gone through it. Uh, they have the same thing, you know, they'd be, uh... Did you stay friends with your former co-workers? One or two of them that I could find alive. But then again, uh, they were all kind of older than me. You know, I had just, just turned 18. So a lot of them died. Well, one of them died of stomach cancer. He was a retiree from, uh, uh, allied chemical. Mm. Mm. And a whole lot more of them went, you know, because uh, they might call it natural causes, but I'm not so sure about that either. Mm. Another thing that uh, I forgive, but I can't forget it, is that after, in 1977, uh, when we got our settlement uh, from uh, Well, anyway, it's the... Uh, that big lawsuit against Allied? Yeah, it yeah. Federal. But, but our, uh, there was 13 or 14 of us, 14 of us were... Uh, well, in this uh, class action, I guess, which you'd call it. And daggone, if they didn't drive a stake between us, you know, they, we were all sitting around the table one day, and they ended up... Uh, now you can't tell anybody else what you're, you know, what you're getting. So it's like they were turning our cells on each other. Well, anyway, uh, after they, well, they took that chunk out of it. And then we had to pay back for every test that we volunteered for at the uh, MCV. Oh yeah, well I mean, I'm older now and I'm smarter now. But I mean, <clears throat> I would have had to be the only hold out if I, if I, if I knew then what I know now, I would have been, uh, I'd be saying, heck no, this ain't no. Unless, unless you just said, heck with y'all, I'm not coming back. I wasn't gonna do that. If something's wrong, I wanna know. Right, sure. Anyway, inhuman thing to do to people, especially when you're 18 years old. What was the morale like with the other employees at that time when you all started having symptoms? Well, we're kind of... Well, me being a welder, I'd jump all over the plant, one place to the next, to the next, to the next. And that guy in here, you'll see after you open it up, um, Tom, somebody was one of the workers there. Did you have any Did you have any children? Did you have any children? Did you have any children? Uh, yeah. Well, finally, I had one daughter in uh, 1989. So do you think you suffered sterility for a while? Oh, I didn't have to ask questions. I just read it out, you know, when they handed me the paper. And at that time, we were. That's what uh, Tom, what's his name, said. Uh, well, you see him in here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I did make it uh, working in the VEPCO plants, you know, after I could finally pass the, uh, the certification test. That's one of the hardest ones you can get from Boiler Tube. So your shaking symptoms went away after how long? Keep on quivers is what I call them. 
I made that one up myself. How long did you have that? Well, I don't know. If I get real nervous, it'll come back now. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like a palsy, like a pressure palsy. And you sleep, you know, lay on that side for a little while. Then when you roll over to the other side, you can't know where your arm is. And they tell him to keep wearing this. Good luck. <laughs> well, he's the one that sent me to the other neurologist that uh, said that I had more neuropathies than anybody he's ever seen in his career. <coughs> anyway. Were your lungs affected too? Say good. Were your lungs affected? Yeah, to a certain extent. I'm trying to keep it so they all wear out at one time. <laughs> That's why I still smoke a cigarette every now and again. I don't want my lungs to last any more than my liver's gonna stand or anything like that. You have neuropathy. Oh, multiple, multiple. Multiple neuropathy. You have scleroderma, so your skin is thick. It's like just dead nerves. Yeah, well that's the, uh, well you know when you squirrel a bug with, uh, any type of insecticide, they turn turned upside down and, and the, uh, the legs start shaking, it's working on their uh, central nervous system. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're doing the same thing to me. Only I'm a lot bigger than a roach or whatever. <laughs> but it's Wow. Yeah, well you gotta laugh about it or else you cry about it. Mm -hmm. That's not, uh, that's not an uh, itinerary. <laughs> That's right, keep that off your itinerary. Well, thank you for sharing so much. I think it's important that we got your side of it. Um, well, I thank you all very, very much, too.